Hey guys, I'm going to share a dream that the Lord gave me a couple of days ago. And this dream is, I believe, just another confirming dream of the financial storm that's coming. It wasn't a long, drawn out dream, but oftentimes those dreams hold a lot of significance. Those short dreams right before you wake up that are often very um, short and to the point. Um, oftentimes they feel very realistic. Um, we have to pay attention to all the types of dreams and not dismiss them if they're short. That's what I've been learning from the Lord these past years. Um, and in this dream, I was driving into New York City and there was snow. As I started to drive into the city, snow was falling on my windshield. And um, I believe that snow in the natural will be a sign and a symbol of this coming financial storm. But as I was driving on the highway into, into New York City, it's like I could see the skyline of the city. And over the city, as the snow started to fall, I saw the most ominous storm gathering. It was the darkest storm I had ever seen. And it was all in almost like a, a cyclone or a hurricane type building up with the darkest, most ominous clouds. And at, even though I saw this storm building, I continued to drive into the city. But as I drove, these huge semi trucks would try to basically squish my car and stop me. And they were um, coming together to collide to basically try to stop me from moving forward down the highway. But I was able to arrive and when I arrived, there were men there that had huge um, semi-type uh, vehicles and they were um, basically laying their necks out on the line. They had these, these semis attached to their necks and they were laying their necks out on the line to lock these semis into place. And that was how the dream ended. And I don't have full understanding of who these men were that were had these huge semis attached to their necks and they were laying them laying their necks on the line to get these semis into place. But what I do believe the dream shows is that we the the storm over New York is it is coming and whether it's just financial or financial and other shakings that are to come on that city I believe we need to be in prayer for the city of New York, but also this storm um, that's building, I believe is something that is from the other words the Lord has shown me about the coming financial shaking, that this is going to be part of God's plan to cleanse a corrupted financial system, that there is no holding on and hoping that the storm doesn't come, this financial storm, because it is part uh it needs to happen in order to purify and cleanse our nation and to expose all the darkness um, that has been behind the scenes and the uh, business deals and the sin and injustice that has loomed in the financial world in the nation which is basically the you know the hub of it is in wall street is in new york and um all of the corruption this storm is coming and we're not going to stop it. And it's part of God's plan to uh, expose and cleanse and do something new and that will bless the nation, that will be founded on truth. And so we cannot, I don't believe that we can stop this storm and that, or that we should pray for it to stop because the Lord, uh, again, has given us wisdom and insight as we've sought him on how to prepare for that so that we're not putting our hope in a system that's about to go under so that we're not putting our faith and all of our dreams and all of our savings and everything that we are hoping for in a corrupted system that the Lord has said he's going to judge. It is coming. Um, but I believe that there are the semis in the dream are large amounts of information or big events. And what I got from the dream is that the enemy is going to try to bring in large events or large, um, you know, semis can represent a big business or a big event, something that is very hard to stop 
and if you aren't careful, can run you off of your lane out of what the Lord's having you do. It's a large load of information or a large event. Um, and I believe the enemy is going to try to keep uh, us from getting to our destination and getting to the cleansing of the financial system through large events or large businesses trying to stop it. And so whatever those large semis represent, they are trying, the enemy trying to prevent the destination that the Lord has of this cleansing. And so we need to be praying against it. But also when we arrive and when this big storm hits, this financial shaking, and um, this exposure, um, I believe that there are people that are going to be putting their necks out on the line as either whistleblowers or people that are, those men either represent whistleblowers who are laying it all on the line to basically get um, help the exposure come forth, or those men could also symbolize those who are so invested in the financial world and the corrupted system that we're currently in that they are going to be putting their necks out, meaning they're going to lose everything that they've had. And either way, and it could involve both. I wasn't sure from the dream, but I knew that these were people that were putting it all out there and putting their own neck on the line. Um, and so our prayer, I believe, based on this dream is, Lord, prepare us for this financial shaking. Um, and we know and we trust that it's part of your plan to bring truth and justice and righteousness back into the foundation of the nation, especially as it concerns to how we do trade and business. But also we could be praying that any plan of the enemy to try to stop the arrival of this exposure and this uh, necessary takedown, that, that we can pray as God's people to stop the enemy from trying to delay or heat or get in the way of God's plans. And uh, we can also be praying for the people of New York because again, when the Lord shows a storm, uh, it doesn't, it's not always clear. Is this a natural storm, a spiritual storm, a physical storm? And the reason I believe it's symbolic of the financial storm is because of all of the other words and signs that the Lord has given over the past couple years of a coming financial shaking and how the Lord usually highlights the city of New York when he's speaking of that. But we can be praying for those people regardless, just for their safety and that the people of New York would be prepared for whatever is coming. And just that uh, people would wake up and be uh, not be putting their hope in a corrupted system anymore. And that can be one of our main prayers Lord, get, wake us up and get us ready because we want you to cleanse our nation and we want nothing of the enemy to stop your cleansing, but we want uh, the least amount of damage to your people and uh, damage to your righteous ones. So that is a good way to pray um, when we're talking about a coming judgment that can't be avoided. So I pray that this dream encourages you, um, directs you to pray with me and to trust the Lord, to stay under the wing of your Lord, knowing that he is leading you and he is your provision. He is your Jehovah Jireh, your, the Lord, your provider. And when it seems like all is shaking, the Lord will be your provider as you've placed your trust in him. So be blessed.